students, there's a test you must take. I said students, it's the law of the state. I said students, our reputation's at stake. So we've got to all get ready. Students, you have all got to train. I said students, using all of your brain with some practice and some study you'll find. And I'm Ariana Press from Kids News. And we're here with you to see the wonders of Lincoln students before a star test. Come on, let's go. Hello. Hello. My students will do great on the star test. Good. Hi. Do you think you'll do good on the test? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's so obvious that I'm the smartest person in the world. I mean, universe. Okay. okay. Hi. Do you think you'll pass? Pass what? The star test. Well, I don't know about passing that, but I know that pudding will rule the world. Pudding? Ha! Huh. I'm gonna rule the world. Just because you're a brainiac doesn't mean that me and pudding won't rule the world. See, I told you pudding won't rule the world. See what you did? You killed her. <laughs> I'm so you killed her. her. Let's go back to the office. Whoa. Oh, no. Study with a buddy. I think that my important tip or tips for star testing is that the students get plenty of rest. You need to be rested and alert for testing, as well as having a good, healthy breakfast. Those two things together are going to make you superstars. Justin Bieber star gum, try some. Regular star gum, try some. The normal flavor star gum, try some. Michael Jackson star gum, try some. Justin Bieber star gum, try some. Mystery flavor, try some. I like Michael Jackson star gum. Hee <laughs> hee. Five. Five dollar, five dollar star gum. Any flavor? <laughs> mark and move on. If you get to a hard question, mark it and move on to the next one. Get all the easy questions first, then go back at the end to get the hard ones. Use elimination. Remember, one of those four answers is correct. So eliminate the ones you know aren't right, and what you're left with is the right answer. Watch out. Every test is a reading test, so read carefully for the tricky words like best and not. Go with your gut. You've been studying all year for this test, so trust your instincts and go with your gut, and you'll do your best on the STAR test. My advice to you is to have a healthy breakfast and get a good night's sleep. Good luck! Always read the question thoroughly before you answer the question. When you're taking the STAR test, what you should do is have a very good night's sleep, come in and have a good breakfast. Sit down, take the test seriously, and always choose number C, number C, letter C, if you don't know the answer. Okay, my tip for the STAR test would be to listen to everything your teacher tells you and to follow all the directions very carefully so you do a very good job. That's it. My best test taking tip is to use the strategies that you've been taught by your teacher while you're taking the STAR test.
I think you should get a lot of rest the night before the test and also have a, a well balanced breakfast in the morning before you come to school and you'll do very good on the STAR testing. Thank you. During this time of STAR testing, it's very, very important to be to school on time and here every day. No lates, no absences. You have to be here. This test is very, very important and we want you to do very well on it. That's my tip. Be here or be square. Bye. Hello. It's important to be ready for the STAR test. I think the best way to get prepared for the STAR test is to do all the review questions that your teacher gives you in preparation for the test. Follow that by good night's sleeps three nights in a row before the test actually starts. And I highly recommend a diet of pizza and diet soda before each test. Thank you. My best STAR testing tip is to get plenty of rest and get to school on time. Good luck, kids. Okay, so the STAR testing is coming soon, and we want you guys to do your absolute very best because we need those 35 points to meet that 800. So here are a few tips that you can do to help that you be successful on the STAR test. Definitely we want you to get a good night's sleep. That is very important to come and, and be rested. Eat a healthy breakfast. No potato chips or donuts for breakfast. Try to eat a healthy breakfast that will sustain you and get you through the day because we definitely don't want your stomach growling and you worrying about being hungry instead of focusing on the test. Um, it is also very, very important for you to be here on time every day. But I also have some other tips um, that will help you when you're actually doing the test and tackling those tough test questions. So when you have a multiple choice question, you need to read the answers before making your choice. Remember, your first instinct is usually your best, so don't change your answer unless you're absolutely sure. On true or false questions, look for words such as never, always, all, and none. They are usually false answers. Words like may or often are generally found in true answers. And finally with essay questions, read the essay questions at least twice. Then make a list of important thoughts or key points about each question before writing your essay. Read through the finished essay to be sure you've included all your key points. Check spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. If you can follow all of these suggestions, we're going to definitely meet that 800 mark. It's time for us to take S-T-A-R. It's time for us to take S-T-A-R. All the answers are there. It's either A, B, C, D. Just eliminate and you'll see. S-T-A-R. It's time for us to take S-T-A-R. Say it's your best, you will try. Yo, ho, 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 a pirate's life for me. Ahoy there, all ye Lincoln Raiders out there in Manteca. I'm your mascot, Steve the Pirate. And I'm here to tell you it's time to raise the sails and set a course to the star test. I'm betting that you'll be able to raise your scores enough so that you reach the buried treasure. It's a treasure that Lincoln has never yet uncovered. And A, B, C, and D mark the spot, not that silly X. And what's the treasure, you ask? Why, it's the 800 Club. And all we need are 35 points to reach the goal. So how about it, Lincoln Raiders? Do you think you can do your best and score even higher than last year? What's that? I couldn't hear you. Tell you what. 
If you think Lincoln can walk the plank of the star test and come up with the 800 club treasure, say, ARG. Now that's a bit more like it. Oh, Lincoln Raiders, you're gonna do great on the star test. Yo, ho, 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 a Lincoln pirate am I.